Okay, the last chunk in session two is to go ahead and upload a media file and connect it to your instructional design homework page. The first thing, of course, is per directions, you needed to create a PDF of your instructional design site before you started making all of these changes. So do not do a PDF of this particular site, but do it of the beforehand. There's not going to be much there, but go ahead and do it of that. In order to uh, attach a media piece, and media for the web press world is anything that's not an HTML or um, an external link. So images, audio, um, files, you know, PDF files, Word files, Excel files, all of those are considered media. And in order to uh, get them into your site, you're going to go to media. And, and as usual, there's always more than one way to get things done. I'm just showing you to go to media first. Click on add new. Now again, I've already created that PDF previously, so I'm going to go ahead and click on, click on select files. I'm going to get to my desktop here. And I'm going to go ahead and find that file. <clears throat> And here it is. Now I named it one with the with the number one before instructional design, just so I could sort it very quickly. You can certainly j get away with naming it just before instructional design, um, and that would be fine. Click on open. That uploads it, and it's there. So now I'm going to go attach it to a page. I'm going to click into pages, and we only have one, so I'm going to click on my home page, and now the code piece is right here this PDF of the original before site um, is the one that I want to become a hyperlink. Now we are going to next week talk about hyperlinks and this up here is the hyperlinking button but don't be misled that's not the one you want to use when you are inserting media. I'm going to highlight this click on add media and here's my file click on it click on insert into page and um, let me undo that super quick and go back and show you one more time. Notice that I have the PDF of the original before site. If I click on add media and click on this, notice over here this title will override your text. So if you don't want that to happen, go ahead and retype that here. I'm going to just type in something simple like a before design and click on insert into page and now that will take over that particular piece. Click on update. By the way, this instructional uh, design site setup is really nothing that you have to do by virtue of the fact that you're in your site and it's running. You've done that, right? So you don't have anything to hyperlink there. I'm going to come back to our sample page and take a look and indeed I'm going to click on my hyperlink and there it is. So there's nothing much more to do in terms of inserting uh, media. I will come back to this later in the semester just to update it but that's it for the moment. See you later.